Many Tesla owners believe that there is very little to no maintenance whatsoever on their cars, and they'd be somewhat right, somewhat wrong, of course. But there is one item on this car that if you neglect it or forget about it or maybe don't even know it exists, <laughs> yeah, it could leave you stranded. All right, walking up to my 2019 Tesla Model 3 SR Plus. Uh, most Tesla owners know that they got to do some maintenance to their cars, one of which is tires, of course. You want to check those monthly for uh, odd wear and tear. Of course, you want to uh, update those air pressures to get the most range that you can. Tesla recommends 42 PSI, of course. Then you got the uh, windshield washer fluid. Keep that thing topped up. The cabin air filters that's inside. I like to do mine uh, about once a year. And uh, on Tesla Model Ys, there's the uh, Bioweapon Defense Mode, or HEPA air filters. And those are a couple of giant filters that are actually under the, uh, the tub of your frunk. They kind of sit right here on a Tesla Model Y. I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. Thanks to the folks at Base Store, they're going to be sending me out a couple of those filters, and I'll take you through that whole process as well. But there's one maintenance item that you may not know that you should probably do proactively. And what I mean by that is get it changed before it leaves you stranded, before it dies. And that is under this piece of plastic right here inside your frunk. Obviously, I have already uh, undone the clips, but right here, just like any other car that you have probably owned in the past, is a 12 volt lead acid battery, just like any other car. And if this dies, pretty much the entire car is bricked and dies and leaves you stranded. Now, uh, newer model cars, newer model Teslas, you're probably yelling at your screen saying, no, no, I don't have that. No, you don't. You have a 16 volt lithium ion battery. The system has been updated. Those should last a lot longer than the uh, one and a half to two and a half year mark that I have been hearing for these lead acids. But when these die, they die spectacularly. All kinds of error messages on the screen, all kinds of things that are unrelated to even power. You're gonna be seeing that, you're gonna be worried, you're gonna be wondering what's going on. At some point, you will see a message on your screen that says you need to have this replaced. Schedule an appointment. You go on the app, you schedule the appointment, and you realize it's you know two weeks out, and it's probably a, a, a good idea to do that before it actually dies. Now, if the car do does die on you, there is a way out, and let me go through that really quick. This is not the video for that, but really quick, if your car is completely dead, you can't get in the doors, you can't get in the front, nothing is responding, right here, you get inside there, there's two wires, and if you have a nine volt battery, a regular nine volt battery, just like uh, you put in your smoke detectors, you can get enough power to the car that will open the frunk, and then from there you can actually jumpstart it the traditional way, either car to car, or what I like to do is I have a battery handheld jump starter with the two uh, cables, and I leave that in the frunk. I actually don't have it with me right now, it's in the Y, but that way, so if, if you open it from here, you open the frunk, you've got your jump starter already handy, and you can jump start the battery and get, your, uh, get yourself on, on your way. So there you go. Do this proactively. I have talked to several Tesla techs already, and they are seeing the 12 volt lead acid batteries dying between the one and a half and two and a half year mark. And one of the signs they told me, in fact, they showed me, this is brand new as of a couple of weeks ago. They showed me my previous one. I probably should have taken a picture. It starts bulging on the sides. And he said, yep, it was uh, almost ready to go. So it was good that you called us or you know, set it up on the app and uh, I had it proactively swapped out. Coming up, I'm gonna tell you all about how much it costs, how fast it was, and all the details about getting your 12 volt changed on your Tesla. All right, so what about the whole hassle of scheduling an appointment and getting this thing replaced, and how much is it gonna cost? I mean, this has gotta be thousands, right? Or at least hundreds. <laughs> Actually, no, it's relatively cheap, it's super fast, and it's amazingly easy to schedule it all on your app. So you're gonna get your phone, you're gonna go on the Tesla app, and you're gonna tell them that you wanna proactively change your 12 volt battery. Just do all that on the app, schedule an appointment, they show up to your house, and I'm not kidding, within 10 minutes, it's done. Let's take a look at the, uh, the actual installation right now.
So obviously that video is sped up and I will put the actual time down below. It's uh, roughly eight minutes, if I recall, from the time they pulled up to our house, rang the doorbell, I came out, did all that kind of stuff. Eight minutes from that time, replacing, and he was gone. So not a lot of time. How much does it cost? Let's throw the receipt up on the screen. $122 installed out the door, no problem. I mean, you can't even go to a auto parts store, get a battery that's equivalent to this, and install it yourself in eight minutes. This is a no-brainer. Just schedule the appointment, get it done. I like to do it between the one and a half and two year mark, and uh, that's the second time I've done it on this Tesla Model 3. And both times, super painless, super easy. Now, the first one, if you are under warranty, if you are still under the four-year, 50,000-mile warranty on your car, and you're getting uneasy about your 12-volt, and you want to get it changed, just put in the, uh, the same exact thing in the description uh, for the appointment that you want to have it proactively changed, and it will be covered. Mine was covered. Mine was free the first time, but the second time, obviously, I'm out of warranty. I've got 53, 54,000 miles on this car, and they came out, did the whole thing, $122. That's a no-brainer. That is a maintenance thing that is super easy. The battery um, is, you know, blessed by Tesla. It's the one that they want you to use, and so there's no hassle there. So there you go. That's how simple it is, how cheap, if I want to use the word. I mean, and relatively speaking, these cars can be expensive. If, if your screen goes or anything big goes, it's not $122. So for the peace of mind and getting in your car and knowing it's going gonna, it's gonna to be working, I think $122 is an absolute no-brainer. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about your 12-volt battery on your Tesla. And if you didn't know you had one, I hope this opened your eyes to one more thing you need to worry about in terms of owning this car and keeping that thing up to date and maintenance. Now, if you have a newer Tesla, you probably have a lithium-ion 16-volt battery. And some of this applies, some of it may not. It probably will last longer for you. It's just a different architecture. So check your manual, see what it's all about, and uh, hopefully it'll last a little longer than these 12 volt lead acid batteries, which are known to die about the one and a half to two and a half year mark. Your mileage may vary. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell if you want to see anything new the second it comes out here on Tesla Tips and Trips. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.